So this time I'm going to show you a method that definitely still works and lets you basically reset your own password to a new one in case you have forgotten it. So let's go. Gmodism. Download the free Laysoft program. Link in description. Save the file, run it and go through with the installation process. Agree to the term and click install. When you have done this, take an empty USB stick and insert it to your computer. When you have inserted it, go back to the program and select Windows 10 64-bit or 11. Windows 10 64-bit works for both Windows 11 and Windows 10 computers. Now choose the correct USB drive. You can browse it and check it and make sure this is actually the USB drive you want to format. Because when you click start, it will format the drive and all data on it will be lost. Click yes. Now it will install itself into this USB drive and you can now just close down this program and click finish. You may also uh, remove it from your computer because you don't need it anymore. Now you can take your USB stick, prepared and all, and put it into the computer you want to reset. Click start and then press the BIOS boot key. So click the boot key for the BIOS and you can find a list of different boot keys there and you will then get into BIOS. Inside BIOS, look for the boot menu and inside there find the USB drive, in this case a Lexar jump drive, and move it up to the top using the provided keys and then click save and exit. For me it's F10. And then your computer will boot into this little program that we will use. And you will get this little query here and just select Lazysoft CD and it will boot into the program of choice which is our USB stick. And there we have it. And the password manager is automatically launched and you need to agree that you're using it for home use and not commercial use and just click next here. Here you have all the accounts on this computer which we can reset the password on unless in the lower right corner you can see live ID account. If it's an alive ID account you need to reset it online using Microsoft's reset password link, link in description. So if you know your Microsoft account's password you can reset the password for this computer as well. If this is however not a live ID account, you can reset it from here. So just browse through an account and uh, click next and then you can click this big blue button and reset it. If you don't have uh, an administrator account available, uh, you can unlock and reset this built-in administrator account. Uh, so all Windows computers have a built-in Windows uh, administrator local account and you can reset it from here. But that's not my account, so I will select my account, Castle, here. So we'll just select it and click Next. So as explained before, uh, it's just a simple process of clicking this big blue button. If you want to change the password, you need to pay for the software. But we just reset the password and that is basically it. We can now click this little Windows icon and click Shut Down Computer. When you have done this, we can go into boot order again and change so that the USB drive boots last. In this way, we will get into Windows. And as you can see here, we have now gotten into Windows really easily. This is my Windows account and we can easily get in. Fantastic. Inside here, we can go to account and sign in options. And inside sign in options, we can go to passwords. Here is where we add our new password. So make sure to select a password which you won't forget and that's uh, good enough. So just select that, write it in two times and click next and finish. And now you have your new password. And there we have it. We're into our own account again and we can now use it normally again. So that's basically that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did and do subscribe to this channel. Anyways, see you next time. This is Jim Resen, signing out.